What's up, guys? We got a top 16 deck profile here with uh, Mikhail Grant, uh, who was at the Battle Hour with how many players was in the tournament? Like 400 plus. 400 plus, yeah, with a lot of players in this tournament. Uh, a lot of uh, SS2 Gogeta, uh, Gohan, uh, a lot of U, uh, U7 uh, Goku. But he took a different deck, and uh, I wanted to present it to you guys because it was actually unique. So, uh, what did you play, by the way? I played uh, Sun Goku and Vegeta Tag Team in Hell. Yeah. And then, you know, that goes into the Z Leader, the Gogeta. Okay, so that's the leader for you guys. The picture for you guys okay uh so what were your matchups throughout the whole day uh matchups uh so round one by round two uh surprisingly it started at green brawley okay. uh round three red future gohan and uh and trunks uh round four it was a uh, u7 ui uh so uh, so round one i won green brawley won red future trunks i lost uh number four u7 ui i won uh goku black expert deck i won uh Round six, U7 UI, I won. Round seven, Andrew 21, the super combo loop, I yeah. won that one. Toughest matchup, probably most intense of the, of the day. Uh, round eight, another future Trunks Gohan, I won that one. There you just, go. Everything just like went smooth on that one. Did you go first for that one? Uh, I did go first, okay. but the, the difference was that on the first one, I didn't see any peel offs. Oh, and like, I see. It's a, a peel off meta. If you're not, if you don't have peel off in your side or your main deck, like you're not doing it right. Yeah. And then um, round nine. Uh, against another U7 UI, won that one, and that one was like, I said by the end of the day, I was like, kind of like feeling tired, so I like I made a couple of misplays on that one, but like I still managed to pull it out, um, okay. thankfully. And then you know, top 16 against Jiren, the Spaniard, just um, he, he brought the heat, so yeah, you know, Jiren, and, yeah, let's go. And, like the Spaniard brought the heat, so props to him. You know, hopefully he does well as well. Okay, cool. So Mikel here is uh, representing San Diego here, so yes. he's uh, one of the best San Diego players in my opinion. Uh, to come out here and uh, do well in this event. All right, let's go into the deck profile. All right, cool. Uh, so I guess we'll go over um, uh, first. Do you want to put upside down? Uh, oh, yep. The first of secret, you know, standard. If you, you know, you run in um, the Three. tag team and Gogeta's Z layer, so it's kind of mandatory. I guess you can use other secrets, but this is the right one for the deck. I wouldn't use any other secret, point blank. So basically, uh, leader on your front side in the gates all the uh, multicolor so you get the uh, charge right in yeah. um, You can take a life and then look at top five for any uh, blue yellow sin and then you can awaken at uh, five or less life and then on the back side uh, Same thing when you attack you can draw one card and take another life so you can get down to three easily So you can play this guy on turn three and really start um, taxing them for all the attacks They try to do on you and gain value from the Aegis yeah. And then, you know, if you want to pay, uh, play a little bit more passive, sometimes the pay one to draw a card and return a card for or less to their hand does yeah. kind of come in handy every so often, but um, it's just kind of utility if you need. Very cool. All right. Yeah. So, you know, go do your secret. If you don't know, uh, it has Aegis. You can use Aegis from their hand instead of pitching a card. So that's just, you yeah. know, broken. And then when he uh, when you untap an energy, uh, whether it's like by Bean or his own skill, he untaps him himself, yeah. and then he can tap any card. So usually I'm tapping their energy or their leader, just you know depending on the, the situation. Uh, and then uh, you you uh, buy them like a card from their hand as well. So yeah. it's just really good utility. If they can't get rid of it by turn five, you basically win. It, it's just yeah. too much value you're, you're taking away from them. And all the, uh, I mean, if you block with him, do Aegis, he restands, you get another blocker. So it's just so much value. Did he get uh, Final Clash at all in this uh, tournament? Uh, or he, negated? Besides the Jiren deck, uh, so Jiren and my ninth round U7 guy was the only people that got rid of him. Everybody else, he yeah. just put, put in work. Stuck in work. Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. So good uh, choice for the meta. Yep. Uh, second, you know, of course, uh, the other eight drops. So we w we went for those. Yeah. Um, me, the way I play, I'm turn three, we're dropping him. Turn four, we're dropping him. Turn five, we're dropping him. Turn six, we're dropping him. Like, yeah. it's constant Gogetas. It's yeah. big bodies all day. You're you're getting you're getting dual attacks from. Well, I guess I'll put out the pull out the Z leader. So once you're at three life, you can go into the Z leader, and that's when the deck really pops off. So. Uh, you know, standard, draw one, and then activate battle. You can pitch any blue yellow card to your uh, from your grave to your warp to untap two energy, and then that's when these guys kick off to untap themselves. Yeah. So you're getting dual attacks each turn they're on the board, which is just heavy pressure. Okay. 
Cool. And then same thing with this Gogeta on play. He draws two, and then same effect. You have Aegis, and then he can rest uh, a battle card or a unison. Okay. So a good 35k double strike pressure. Yeah. Uh, next on the multi package, we got Kefla. Uh, some people like to run, you know, one, two. How I do, you know, I, I go big. We, yeah. we run four. There you go. You know, I, I don't play around with, with the big boys. Yeah. So same thing. Uh, it's a very reactive deck, so I'm always going to have energy on their turn. They try to uh, come at me with something big or something cheeky. Um, you know, we drop Kefla, bomb deck it, my turn. Now I got Gogeta, I got Kefla, yeah. and then I can pitch her to the drop, yeah. draw two, tap, usually tap their energy, and now she's dual attack. So we got constant dual attackers, so yeah. it's, um, it, just, it just goes in. Uh, next on the multi list, we got the SS3 four drop. Uh, so I like to run uh, just three. I think three is good enough for for what I'm trying to do. So you have to have the the Z extra out to play him, and um, so on play he can uh, rest a card and bottom deck a five or less, and you draw automatically. So he's good removal and a good 25k hitter as well, and then. Uh, nothing less. He's uh, a charge uh, for your Dragon Ball yeah. Super Masters players. I still have plenty of openings on the side of it. Next, we got the, uh, the, the Super Saiyan dead. Son Goku Vegeta Saiyan Bonds. Uh, again, it's just more utility for matchups that I need to negate something and then kill it uh, with with something else. Yeah. So it's good for the mirror match, um, attack, um, use that blue yellow card to arrival them in, negate. Uh, a Gogeta or whatever I need to and then kill it with something else. So good, good utility. I like it at two. Um, yeah. Okay. And then uh, again, we're doing a multi-package so we, we run the uh, Goku Hit Truth. Um, I run four Keflas so I feel like you need to run you know a good amount so I do run four of these. Okay. It's a, a you know, free combo power in your hand for the permanent, so it's still a 5k combo when you need it, at the very least, and again, it's a multi-charge, so uh, we max out on these just because, again, good utility for the arrival stuff. I see, okay. Uh, and then, surprisingly, some people don't like to run Viku. I do, I'm all about the fusions. Uh, we go in on the, v the Vikus, so I run three Vikus. And they are a staple in my strategy. I like to, depending on the matchup, I like to play Biku on turn two, Gogeta on turn three, another Gogeta on turn four. So you're just building up your Aegis, yeah. you know? You're, you're getting that um, advantage early from Aegis by playing Biku on turn two. So that's why I like playing him. Uh, we run Zamasu. Uh, we run three of him. Uh, again, more utility, more counterplays. Uh, again, Android 21, certain red decks. Uh, it's just good in a lot of matchups that you need to bounce off back, rest a card, draw one. And again, if you're on the Z leader side, it loses the uh, permanent multi effect of the exhaust. So he's good to like charge on your turn four or, or turn five going on if you can spare him. Okay. So good utility. You don't play any other Vekus from the, the uh, tournament prac or whatever? So the, the promo Veku is good against the green matchup because, you know, green can always go through barrier of KO stuff. Oh, I see. The promo Veku says that it can be KO'd, so it's definitely, that one is definitely good against green if you know you're going to see a lot of green and you can just side that in. Got it, got it. Okay. But, you know, I, I, my side deck really focused more on U7 and Android 21, so I didn't really have room to kind of tech for green that much. But okay. I felt good in the green matchup overall. Okay, very fair. Yeah. So now we're going to go into the actual, like, fusion package. So, again, I'm doing all these fusions, so I like to keep my fusion package high. Yeah. So we run four of the draw uh, package. So this is the one where if your leader sends it to the warp from the drop, you yeah. can search out your deck for another, you can search out, out your deck for another Goku, right? Yeah, basically counterpart. Exactly. So um, I run uh, the Counter-Strike one at three. Okay. I really like this because um, the auto to play itself and bottom deck a four or less really comes in handy against aggro decks and just people that um, you know don't really usually realize what the deck does. So it, it can catch somebody off guard. Help me a lot against a future trunk set because all their future Gohans are like four or less. So okay. um, definitely helps out if you uh, utilize it. 
And he's also critical, which is nice. Exactly, 20K yeah. critical, I mean, it, it's, it, it's good. We run four of the Goku Counter-Strike as well. Again, I like to keep the ratios for my fusion high. Um, this one, not used as much as the Vegeta Counter-Strike because he doesn't come immediately into play. He comes at the end of the turn. Oh. Yeah, so he comes immediately, he comes in at the end of the turn, but, but the, the immediate effect is that you can rest somebody a battle card when you pay the one, so it's yeah. decent. It'll come up um, rarely, but when it when it does work, it works. Okay. Uh, the other draw, Goku, is this one, the the uh, tag team for this one. So again, same thing. You send it to the drop to the warp. You get to search out your deck for another uh, five five thousand or less Vegeta. Okay. So again, just more utility for draw power. Top five and then draw power. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, super combo choice. All right. Is the uh, Discipline Warrior Vegeta. I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't use any other super combo because um, at times you draw so you draw so much that you're seeing these pieces in your hand. In your hand, so you want to make sure that you can always cycle your deck for more. So oftentimes I'll super combo bottom deck of Vegeta, activate battle, send him to the warp, and search him back out. So oh, no nice. card lost. Yeah. You know? So uh, I like that super combo. Um, just from more added defense and pressure. We got the uh, eight drop uh, Piccolo Gohan. Again, we're a very reactive deck, so always have an Aegis. If I'm at uh, four or less, we can just play him out, pop something. Triple attack goes good with all the other dual attackers I have, yeah. so um, good utility. And then again, I can pay one when I need to bottom deck a five or less. So awesome card at two of. I don't think I need more than that. Yeah. Um, D Magic, 2 D Magic. Um, you know, D Magic is good, but at, at times I'll just charge it like turn four or five because like I have so much defense and um, poppers. I really don't find myself using D Magic unless it's against like a red deck where I know they're gonna have the Vegito Seeker. So I'm like, I'm always saving for the Vegito Seeker quad, quad Strike because they'll just take away your Android 17 counter or, or any kind of battle card negate. It's always good to have a D Magic against a red deck. Okay. Uh, we go with three beans. I feel like that's enough for me. Um, you have Aegis, you don't need more. Yeah, exactly. So Aegis, uh, beating up if I need to uh, protect my leader, you know, play more stuff out uh, with a rival or, or two calls to activate battle or three calls to activate battle. Uh, so good stuff right there. Uh, we run, again, I like to keep my fusion pieces high, but we actually run two of these uh, generic blue Vegetas to draw one uh, if I need to. Uh, so turn one, like I always want to play a Goku or Vegeta on turn one. So it just helps with the draw one ratio, the combo for the um, Z energy. And again, just more, you can't search them off of these, yeah. but at least uh, you can turn one, draw, and then if you have them, uh, if you're struggling to find other pieces, you have them just in case. So it's a fusion material basically. Exactly, you know, I, I'm, always, I'm always fusing, so you, you gotta have, you gotta make sure you have that ratio good. Got it, got it. And then unison of choice. Uh, Vegeta units in the main deck. Um, okay. I like it uh, against green, against red, it just against black. If I, you know, if I see any, it just it stops so many decks. You know, I, 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 I like to main deck it. Yeah. It this is like it basically it uses the mechanic of uh, the power creep. Yeah, exactly. And then the minus three is relevant because again, Gogeta's tapping down energy, Kefla's tapping down energy, he taps down energy. Yeah. So they all come into play. It, it all synergizes with good. Very cool. All right, that was the main deck for you guys. You guys want you want to go to the side deck? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Dragon Ball Super Masters players, if you are interested in participating in one of our side events, please make your way to the scorekeeper station on the side. The first event is scheduled to start at 10.30 a.m. Again, Dragon Ball Super Masters players, if you're interested in participating so, deck, in one of our side events, for the, the aggro matchup, okay. uh, you know, self expansion Please make your speed. way to the scorekeeper um, area, to the side. To release balls, um, more counterplay against uh, Android 21, any other uh, decks that I want to like stop early. Um, I'll get you basically. Exactly. Or uh, Z extras that are like uh, three or less that like don't have deflect. This can put in work depending on the matchup. Oh, that stops Z extra moves? Yes. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. If they don't have Deflect, it'll stop it. Okay, interesting. Uh, same thing with uh, Desperate Measures. 
Um, anything that's tour that's coming into play that I don't like, that, um, you know, play it for one, bounce it back, um, yeah. optimal. Again, uh, mostly against the 21 so I want to stop their ramp. Yeah. Um, Two and your 17 defenders. Uh, great card. I, I don't I don't really like it main because I feel like the deck doesn't generate enough Z energy. Oh, but um, you know I'll I'll put it in for certain certain matchups and um, it, it, it's it's nice. So um, uh, pretty good. Okay. Uh, Mutaido, uh again um, uh, stops big bodies. Um, Pay for one, the auto, you send to drop, you can rest anything that's bigger than your energy and, and they can't untap. So it's good against green with the A-drop Gohan, it's good against the mirror match, uh, good against U, U, uh, U7 with the six drop. So um, definitely handy. Um, MVP of the side deck, peel off, no doubt. Um, every U7 game, the red future Gohans. Yeah. It's a it's a peel off meta. If you don't have peel off yeah, yeah. in your no, side no, or your main deck, you're not doing it right. As a blue player, yeah. As a yeah. blue player, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you can. I don't think it's even. Um, is it leader lock? Like, leader lock. Or? Yeah, it's not even leader lock. So okay. if you're if you got a blue package, <laughs> you know peel off is what it is. It it'll it'll put in work for you. Okay. So it's a counter attack. You play it. Uh, auto. You can blank a skill uh, like barrier. Um, any kind of keyword skill, and yeah. then you draw one on the play, and then activate battle. You can bottom deck uh, a combo, a, a combo piece. So yeah. it helps. Um, so much. Yeah, it helps all them out. It's just it's good value. So they have to respect it and get rid of it as soon as possible. Okay. And by that time, they get rid of it. You know, you're you're on the up on the up end. Okay. Is that all of it? And then the last card is uh, Bull Unison. Oh yeah, forgot about this guy. Yeah, I, I didn't really like him in main. Uh, I think he was good on in the side deck for me. And um, when he did come in a couple games oh. against U7 specifically. Um, he did put in work, kind of, because if I know they have like burning rage or assume they have burning rage, at least I can just block and not have to worry about like um, cool or cool counter on a on a on a negate. So he's good against U7 and you know a couple other matches, but yeah. Any slower match basically. Yeah, exactly. So Boo is still Boo for me is a side deck. Okay, cool. And then um, going to the Z deck. So of course got the leader. We run two of the uh, Cleansing Light. So usually I try to play this out by turn two and then it goes well with your um, other Aegis pieces. So instead of having to pitch a blue, yellow or a multicolored card from your hand, you can just do it straight from your drop to your warp. So again, this plays in perf perfectly with the uh, three drop Gokis and Vegetas. You pitch those and then you can just search for themselves. Yeah. So, and then, um, the activate battle with your Z leader. You can give your Z leader uh, plus 30k and triple strike. I caught two people with that uh, during the tournament, and um, it was just clutch. So the first one again uh, was the Android 21 Super Combo Loop deck. Uh, going to times, he was at six life. I was at three. Um, I knew I had to like shotgun. So he had already Android 17 me for that turn. But I was like, whatever. We were just going in. We swung with leader. Activate battle, dumped him to like 75k for a triple strike. Uh, he took it, and then I used one Z energy to play a Oolong to make sure I had board presence. Yeah. So we had same life, same board, and I won by deck count. There you go. And then um, those time rules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then uh, round nine, um, got my uh, person down to three, went in for a triple strike, uh, dumped him. You know, uh, he couldn't do anything about that. Very nice. Okay. Uh, again, like I said, Oolong, I like him at a one of. Uh, same thing, he just pairs good with uh, Leader, 40 40, you know. That's so good. Yeah, exactly. Copy the stats. <laughs> uh, two, uh, one Beerus, uh, good for barrier removal if I need it. Um, I usually don't play him unless I have, you know, of course, a Biku and a Gogeta on board, then we can play him safely and feel confident that he'll stick around and put in work. Okay. Uh, one cell. Yeah, you gotta uh, have this guy. Yeah, uh, I didn't use it against Jiren. Um, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, because like, I wasn't again. I, I wasn't set up. Uh, I didn't have Biku. He had oh. killed my Gogeta secret. So you know, if, if you're not set up, it's kind of hard to just tap out for these. So I like to play it when I have when I'm safely uh, established. But against certain matchups, uh, cell is very needed, and he's good. Okay. And the last card. 
uh, two drop Goku from the. Um, Did you punish anybody with today with this? No. Uh, um, it didn't come up as much, but again, it's, it's it's good utility if you know you have the energy to spare and they have like 15 plus cards. Yeah. It, it definitely wrecks. Um, I, I would still keep it in my side. It's still good. It's still re relevant to me. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, can, can we see your prize that you got for uh, top uh, 16? Uh, yeah. I, uh, Is that it right there? I got a whole bunch, actually. I got more than that. Yeah. So, hold up. So, first off, we got um, we got the metal leader. That one. You want to flip it over? What is it? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, and that's the regular alternate art version. That's so cool. Yeah. And then... I got the baby leader giant. I'm letting the one of the staff members borrow it so I can like showcase it for the okay. side event. That's okay. The other big leader was the spirit bomb. There so spirit go. bomb, baby leader, and then a whole bunch <laughs> of promo packs and stuff. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, thank you for the deck profile. It was really in depth. I really liked it, enjoyed it, and hopefully someone can learn from this uh, deck profile as well. Yeah. Just shout out to my boy uh, Alex Keeper, my main tester on Untap. Yeah. Uh, Brian Russo, the hermit of SD. Yeah. He should have top, but he's like Majin Buu. He just kind of like goes out and have fun. So, yeah, uh, but yeah, good. you know, shout out to everybody in SD and uh, thank you for the deck profile as well. All right, peace out.